Greetings everyone, Lomberg here. Today we're going to talk about the Brutal Drag Racing, the new mini game, which actually is pretty fun and exciting. Um, and uh, in this video, I will share some of the tips, avoid some of the common mistakes, basically what I've gleaned from doing some research on this and, and playing around with it over the last two days. This is the second day of the event. The very first tip is, you know, read the rules on the top right corner in the question mark. Um, they're actually pretty well described. So you can see here, um, the key thing to remember is to join a team uh, and then practice in the first three days so you get the hang of it. Um, so let's look at, and, and when you join a team, the, the biggest benefit is that when you go to your uh, modify factory here on the, on the bottom right, uh, when you join a team, it basically gives you this passive um, collection of these um, modified parts. So if you click on the rules or the question mark at the top right corner, it basically covers it here that you get three modified parts every hour when you join a team. So if you join, don't join a team, you're not getting that collecting. Uh, so here you can see that the next part is going to be available in 16 minutes. So basically every 20 minutes you're getting a part. The good thing is you don't have to come back and, and click it every 20 minutes. It accumulates uh, until you come and click it. Okay. So Second thing is I'm going to cover some of the easy things and some of the basics, and then I'm going to cover some of the, uh, the, the ways to maximize your spend. Um, if you, uh, similar to other events, uh, this of course is a link to uh, getting the skin for the female Titan. Um, and there's some diligence and um, courage uh, uh, quests. Um, so in those diligence and courage quests, uh, the, the first first thing to remember is you can do these quests any of the day. You don't have to do it in the day that it happens. Second thing is, you know, you'll notice that um, this was pretty disappointing quest because, you know, if you had already used these items, nobody really saved these, especially because this event happened after bounty quests. So people were saving it and then they used up everything. And, and if you're like me, you know, that was your time to catch up your account and then start saving again for the next bounty quest. Well, this is really making it to where you'll always have to keep something saved on hand because some of these quests are almost impossible to do if you weren't saving, especially the uh, modify, um, um, use the uh, evolution shards. So um, here I can do a couple of the quests. So I'll just cover some of them. And so then we'll get started. So one of the, the easiest quests is to use 25k uh, mutant meat. So that's about 50 of these boxes. So we're gonna we're at 106. We're gonna end at 56. That should give us enough for all three quests. So I'm using here at the bottom left, and I'm gonna stop at 56. Just some easy math. And then one more quest is to actually um, use some talent points. It's only 20, 20 that you have to use. This is a good skill. Uh, this is on a farm, so I'm gonna use. Um, eight there and 12 there. So perfect math. Um, that upgrade that skill to level three. Uh, now let's go and collect them. So um, five, um, 25k meat and 20 um, talent points. All right. So that, those are some good rewards. Let's see what else we can do. We can't do the stored energy jars. And what's frustrating is that you really can't use 10 or 20 or 35. The only way you can use it is 50. And once you use it, you really can't unuse it. Unlike talents, which I don't recommend doing this, but you, know, you could go to your talents and reset it to get um, some of these talents back. But I think the loss is uh, 20%. So that's a pretty high loss and not worth these rewards um, for this event. Okay. Um, one more quest. The day two was a little bit easier to do just because um, these were a little easier to maintain. So, okay, you can do elite recruit which is not so easy, but, you know, use officer XP, that's 20K officer XP. And the skill books, it's a little confusing, but all you have to do is to use 10 skill books. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, oops, let's find a hero. This is a farm, so we're going to level up this guy. Um, here, steel expert. We're going to use 10 skill books. Perfect. And we're going to increase... Um, XP. Oh, I have a lot of XP. So that was 20k XP. So that should be enough. 40 buck, 40, 500k. Let's now collect all of those. Boom, boom, boom. So if you have those items, great. If you if you don't, you have until the next few days to, to collect them. And the last one was elite orders. I only have nine set up here, but at least that'll give us something. Okay, so let's collect that last one. So this is basically what you can do in a free account. 
Um, the only thing that I've missed is the um, energy jars and um, second elite recruit. So you have some more time to collect and do that. Now let's go ahead and start the event. Um, there's too, too many options here, and you can see that they're red because there's options to upgrade. You can go to your garage, and then you can go to your modify factory. So I'm going to start with the modify factory because I was confused about this. So you might think that, okay, you start off, everybody starts off with a C car. Should I use these or the modify um, um, on the C car, or should I wait until I get a better car to use them? The good news is that it transfers over. So I was worried about that, but I did some testing, and, and basically let's use all of them because it, it will transfer over to your best car. So that's... So you can kind of rest assured that that won't be a problem. Um, here I've already actually joined the teams, but I'll cover that in a second. Um, I wanted to show you that, yep, I've upgraded the C to now level four from all the quests that we did, all the free quests. Now let's go to the garage. And here you can see you need to do this luxury garage 30 times in order to get an A card. It's not luck based. You have to do it 30 times until you get an A. And then you have to do another 70 times to get an S. So let's do some of this. Oh, we, we got a B, which is great. We have one more from the free items. Let's keep doing that. Another B. And the stats are variable. So you can see that some of the stats different, differentiate. Oh, we got a modified part. Another modified part. C car. And then let's do the luxury one. We have a couple items there. Just one. Okay. So now let's go back to your modify factory on the right. And you can see that there's a couple of different um, there's a couple of different B cars. So which one do you want to use? They they actually give you some, some guidance. So this is the worst B car. Um, this one is better defense, but worse fuel. This one is um, the same fuel. So the, basically this is the best one. So let's deploy that guy. And then we're going to use some of these modify. And so right now, the best car that we have is a level 4B. Um, okay, great. So how do you join a team? You can click on team. I've already joined one. These are all the farms here. And um, once you join that team, um, it, there's lots of rewards. First of all, once you join the team, you can um, you can collect these passive um, amounts as well as get combined rewards. Um, let's next cover these practice runs. Uh, my next tip will be, you know, um, really do the practice runs. Do it on your farms. If you have multiple farms, the more you play, the more you're going to get better at it. I did it on a lot, a lot of farms and keep discovering new ways to, to play. When you hit practice, you have three modes. There's the A, the S, and the B. B is really not B, but what it, what your actual car is. So of course, playing on, on, on the car that you're gonna actually play in is the best way to do it. And then this of course is, is advertising because it, it allows you to see how well you can do in A and S mode. I'm not gonna show you playing on B, but basically playing on B, the fuel is so low that you, you can at most score about 14K points, which isn't a whole lot. You collect some coins and then you run out of fuel. So, so B really isn't going to do much. On A, you can play that you can practice, but this is an A at th level 30, so it's maxed out. Um, so I'll come back and show you a demonstration on my account in a second. Uh, and then, of course, you can practice on S and you'll see some of the difference. But, you know, unless you're planning to get an S, it really is no point practicing there. Um, so once a uh, key thing to remember is you can join a team. Um, well, once you look at the team, you can look at some of the team rules. Um, let's see, wait. You can click here. You can, you can exit and leave the team during this matching period of the practice phase. Um, you know, but you know, in the last two days of the event, which is day four and five, your teams are set and you can't leave. Okay. So let's do a practice run and I, I'll demonstrate um, an A run, a max A run. And this is some of the tips that I've shared from, from doing the practice. So let's start practicing. The first thing to remember is that you have this mic, this button on the left. Go ahead and click on the key. Because there's a key back there. 100 seconds to go So the key thing to do in a better score is this. Sorry, that's really loud. Can't hear me talking. Um, you have this limited amount of armor. Um, um, that was a terrible run because I was distracted with the sound. Um, I apologize for that sound, but the music is actually cool when you're playing. You should play it with sound, but when I'm recording, you shouldn't. Okay, the other tip is here, you, these, these zombies can't be killed, um, um, but you can hit this guy right here, and he drops coins. So, so try to hit this guy as he's dropping coins, but you can't hit him. Oh, and that's what happens if you do, so you can't kill them. 
Then on the boss, basically, you have to kill these things. You can start with the center. I found out that's the best way to do it. On a maxed A car, you can almost kill it. And so you watch your health bar. I lost 30 armor there. And then you can keep going. Now, again, keep focus on that nitrous. So the, the key thing to making a, a better score on a full A car is hitting that nitrous one more time. Almost there. You, you can kill these zombies that are stationary, but the ones that are coming rolling at you, you can't actually kill them. Even with an S car. Okay, I have the feel. <coughs> Excuse me. And now I've hit that um, nitrous that gets me, you know, further... Uh, further distance, more importantly, and more coins. So here you can see the key thing is to reach that 70k. So, and you were able to reach the second boss on a max A card. Again, kill this guy as much as you can, move over, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, and then move over. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him, move over. So when I was playing this without Nitrous, I was scoring about 35k, and now with Nitrous on Max A car, you can score 78. So the takeaways there is to um, use Nitrous um, twice to, to score well. And then the second takeaway is that in that pre-boss phase where those the zombies come out, hit the guy with that, that drops coins. Okay, so let's actually go into, I'm going to switch over and show you my account where I'm going to talk about some packs. A mistake that I did and, and some tips there. Um, so I did spend uh, on the first day I got excited and probably spent more than I wanted to so I did buy the first three packs so that was my first mistake because I didn't realize that the uh, oh I did get attacked awesome uh, battle frenzy is going on so you can see here I set up a nice trap with just a few units and um, my Titans got got some kills while, you know, he basically got nothing. I, I killed some, looks like T9 and T10. It's awesome. Free points. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal some. Um, so here, um, you can you can see here, I, it's been three hours since I've collected. You can collect these and upgrade it. All right, so I have a level 12 um, A car. Um, level 12 is good because the, the rewards here, you can see as you level it up. So once you get to level 30, um, you know, if you can get to level 30, but you know, that's probably not, I'm not gonna reach for that, but um, I, I was able to get 10 and 12. So what packs did I buy to get there? Let's see. Um, so the, the main tip that I wanted to share is that if you go into limited time deals, and look at this uh, timer at the left. So this looks like it actually refreshes daily. Um, and then as similar to everything else in Camel, the first pack is always um, the cheapest. And then the next pack is uh, progressively more expensive for fewer items, if you consider, you know, per item cost. So if you are planning to spend a limited amount of money, you're better off buying the pack, um, the first pack or the first two packs every day versus buying the first four packs on one day. So I bought the first three packs and that was a mistake. And I don't know if I'm going to buy any more, but um, and if you are buying it in terms of the packs, it looks like, you know, if you want to try to get to the A, you're better off buying this um, this pack here that gives you um, the luxury garage tickets versus the, the second pack here that gives you the um, the modified parts to level up. So modified parts level up and then luxury garage gets you to A or if you keep going, then you'll get to S. So let me show you that here on mine. You can see if I go to my garage and then go to luxury garage here, um, I did 30 times of the luxury garage to get the A car. And then once I did that, it looks like I did two more, I think. So I did 32. And here, look at the bottom left, it says get after 68 times. So if I do 68 more times, I'll get an S card, which is a lot of money. And I'm not really willing or interested in, in spending that. 
what I did want to demonstrate is so I have one more practice run. So let's see, you know, now here you can see that um, the one on the, the bottom right is actually your car. So it's better to actually practice that. If you think that this is where you're going to end up, start practicing here. And let's see, my goal is if you look at your team and if you look at this last reward here, that is 25,000 to 50,000 points. So if you divide that by four, that's 62 and a half. So that means if everybody um, gets an A car and is able to um, reach that um, level, you need everybody needs to score about 62 to do it. So I basically, my goal is to say, can I try to get about 60 to 70 K um, so that we can get that last reward? So let's actually practice and see if a level 12 A car can do that. All right. And I'm going to hit nitrous at the beginning so that it gives me a chance to use it twice. Really important to try to avoid those bugs that come at you quickly. Oh, oh this is a terrible run. Uh, the sound actually does help. So playing without the sound, I'm, I'm not as good. Hit this guy, get the gold, get the gold, move at the last minute. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. You'll get used to the controls. It's like a slide. really a terrible run. So I really need to survive this boss and not uh, um, not get hit. So let's see, let's try one more time and, and try to see if I can do it at my best. This time, not actually lose any health in the early part of the stage. It's better to not lose health even if you miss a few coins because the distance that you travel is actually more uh, valuable than the um, coins that you're collecting. So don't get greedy trying to get that last bit of coin. It's more important to not actually lose health so that you can survive that boss and keep going on the run. So that was much better. I didn't get hit at all, and you'll get better with practice. Don't risk, like, you know, trying to get as much coin as, uh, until the last minute. So here, let's see if we can actually kill the boss. Uh, kill his hands. One, I really need to hit this other one. Let's see. Nope, I didn't. So I lost 60 armor instead of 30. Let's see if I have enough to survive. So yeah, because this time I didn't get hit, I have just enough to survive, So which is good. Now the key thing is to not actually die before I can use nitrous. Am I going to make it? Almost, almost, almost. Nope. So the key thing there is I did score 40, 42, but um, I need to upgrade my car so that I can get to the point where I can use that nitrous and survive 28 seconds to be able to do it. So I will continue to, to upgrade it. There's at least a couple more days of diligence quests, so that's the good news. Um, so that's essentially it. That's my, that's my tips for this event. Um, you know, uh, it actually is, is fun gameplay. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Um, some of the rewards, of course, is, is, is amazing. Um, you can see here. Um, um, one more thing to keep in mind, if you're the best score, you get a few extra rewards at M MVP. Um, and then, you know, at, at each, um, each level as you upgrade it here, these are, not, these are not bad. So I thought it was worth the spend that I did. Uh, and I'll continue to do some of the diligence quests and see if you know we can keep actually get my car to level 20 at least and get some of the Valkyrie fragments. Um, let me just last uh, talk about the Valkyrie fragment because um, I'm excited about it. Um, in my one of my videos, I said you know it's better to get the female Titan skin because um, here you can see that when you look at the the buffs here in the the Valkyrie, um, the attack based one, which is Queen's Inspiration, which is my favorite skill. If you get it to five star, you get this uh, plus eighteen percent bonus boost. I don't know if that's a additive or a multiplicative. If it's multiplicative, then that will be really really awesome. If it's additive, then it's not really that big of a deal. So just something to keep in mind. You know, if you compare that to the male Titan 
um, skin, um, you really have to get him um, fairly high to get the attack based damage. So, you know, that's this is a skill based one, destroy rate. So, really, um, it's almost only at the last level 20 star where you get the, the benefit. So, these stars do accumulate. Um, so, that's one more thing to keep in mind. So, if you already have the male titan at three, um, three star, once you get the female titan to two, you'll be able to get the benefit of this queen's inspiration. All right, guys, that's it. Um, hope, hope you have fun playing this. Uh, and then if I've missed anything and you can think of any, any more tips and gameplay, do let me know.